Yeah, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. So this is a new thing here. So we just want to give you a uh, what do you call it? Our laser jet printer. Just want to refill this our laser jet this printer now. This um whole five country if you know it. I think you have been using it before, but this is how we're going to refill this. Uh, I think that the Kenya country is not good at all. I think that we're going to refill it. So these are our tools we are going to use in the film in China cartridge of it. So I believe maybe if you check previous of our video, you see that we did a video on on a 1020, 1025 and all that. So we just want to give you an 05 cartridge. This 05 cartridge is using a 1022 and a 20. 35. So that is what it's using. This is our 05 battery. Just want to show you how to refill it so that I can easily access it to the field. And yeah, so let's go back to business. So, only if you want to refill this 05 cartridge, that is a pin right now. We have the pin right now that is going to use a plier to remove the pin. Then you have the second pin here right now. So, you just want to remove the pin right now. So, let's get started of it. So, you need to use your plier in removing it. Place a plier and remove the pin immediately gently. So I know that the pin will always always take you some time, but I believe you can do it on your own if you just have the patience. So I think you have to remove the pin right now. I think you are seeing the pin already, so you just need to remove it. Yeah. Now we have removed our pin. This is how we're going to remove it. But if you don't want to remove the pin or if you want to remove Refill it manually, then see somewhere else you have to refill it manually. But we just need to give you all that because we just want to show you this because it's very important to know this one because it's very very good. But whenever you are referring, always use your paper because of the waste that is around it. So always use your paper so that there won't be a waste on the around the table or anywhere there. So you have to use your paper to cover the ground so that the waste won't be much. Then you have to use your flats. You are using your flats now to remove the drawer. So you need to remove the drawer right now. You just have to remove the drawer gently. Then you need to pull it out. Yeah. I think this is our drum that we are using for it. But whenever you remove a drum, your drum, you have to wrap it in one place. Maybe use a paper to wrap it so that it won't get scratched or it won't get damaged because whenever it's scratched it will it will show as when you are printing your paper so this is how we are going to wrap it just wrap it and put it by the sides you are done with that one you have to remove the aurora you just want to remove the waste ink that is here so this is where the waste toner ink that is here you just need to remove it you have to lose the nuts that is here the cleaning blade uh, maybe if you check previous of our video you see where we explain what is cleaning blade what is down how you can be able to fix it how you can be able to work on it if it gets spoiled or if it gets damaged so i think this is our waste toner right now i think you have seen it already so we just need to remove the waste toner from the waste bin so you just need to remove the waste toner after you might remove the waste toner just use your brush to brush the cleaning blade very well. Use your brush to brush it. Just need to brush it so that it will be okay and be clean also. Yeah, just need to brush it. But you will not wash the cleaning blade because if you wash the cleaning blade, the cleaning blade side will get damaged once it fixes it inside the printer box. Maybe if you check previous of our video, you understand how we wash our cleaning blade and how we'll be able to use a toner and fix on the cleaning blade so that it won't get damaged on the printer side. So this is how we're going to tighten it, assemble your cleaning blade also. But the Aurora, I think there's a little bit of uh, toner on the Aurora. You just need to use your rag and clean it. It's either use a rag or use your tissue paper to clean it. So you just need to use a tissue paper or use a rag, anyone that you see available with you. Just use a tissue paper. You can see a dirt on it. You can see the waste now on it. So you just need to use your tissue paper to clean it very, very well. To make sure that the aura is very, very good because this is an image aura. And the drum also is also an image drum because it's always passed through here and also the drum also. So I think we are done with this one. But we need to fix our drum right now so that we can retain the toner immediately gently one after the other. So we have to remove the drum. Then 
they remove their drum. Always watch the position of your drum whenever you want to fix it. Watch the position very, very well because this is always the angle the drum always comes out. You have to use a hand to hold it a little bit so that the magnetic will come out or the iron that is there will come out. So I think you have seen it already. Yeah, the iron will now fix your knot on it. But if the other one, you have to fix it through here. But this one, you have to fix the you know, the iron roller first right now before you have to fix the iron like that is just that and then go read make sure that the, thing, the drop is rolling very very well because if you didn't roll at all it won't be able to come out to repair that but very soon i'm going to show you all that what you have to know or the problem you have to encounter when you are printing out so this one right now i just want to show you how to repair this your toner factory so right now you're going to use it like now from here right now use it from here I have like two knots on it so you just need to use the two knots there yes you are using it just need to glue the two knots that is here when you are done removing it is the blade that is on it they have to remove the magnetic color so that you can be able to pass in two knots on it this is the magnetic color Then you have this, this always causes a problem on printer, but very soon I'm going to teach you about that one, but not right now. So just now. Then whenever you want to refill your tuna, always make sure that you shake it very, very well, like five to six minutes. Just shake it very, 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 very well, so that this tuna will circulate, because there is sometimes the tuna always, always block, or it won't be free whenever it's moving. So you just, just need to shake it very, very well before you have to pop it. So after shaking it, then now put the toner, put the toner, put it very very well. Always make sure that you put it very very well. Yes. After putting the toner, right now, you just need to fix your magnetic roller on it. You just need to fix your magnetic roller. Then we have to put this nose that is on it. Because if you didn't put this sensor on it, you're going to cause a problem on the printer when printing on the paper. So you just need to fix your magnetic roller on it. Just need to fix it gently. Whenever you are fixing it, always make sure that you roll here very, very well so that it can be able to match it through here. It can be able to assemble well. Then after doing that, you have to fix your this back where it belongs. Fix it back. After fixing it back, then you put your knot on it. Put your knot on it. Tight it very very well, gently. Tight it very well. Yeah, I think we are already done with this right now. Then you have to need to couple it. But before you couple it, you just need to roll it to make sure that the toner is balanced and toner is So let's just couple it. Can I can do it right now? Fix it back there and down. Then also try to make sure that. You set your pin very very well in the position that you need to Just set your pin very very well. Just make sure that your pin is well set. Then use something to just you know put it a little bit. Once the two pin is set, you know that your printer is now ready to use. Whatever you do the pin because it's going to be easy access for you to put it on out because if you don't put the pin. The next one we are going to teach you is just uh, the three ways to refill a toner if not losing it here with the pin or here. So we're going to give you that one later, but not right now. Just want to give you this one how you can be able to fill your toner or zero fry toner. Zero fry pin. It's using a 2055 gram cartridge. So I think you have seen that already. So now our print our cartridge is now very very safe and ready to use. So you just need to just you know brush it a little bit. Make sure that all the toner around it is very very well brushed so that there won't be a stain on the paper. Whenever you want to fix your paper, yeah, I think it's not ready. So you just need to couple it back. You just need to couple it back. 
So thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that I can be able to get more of our video that is coming up very very soon. I think we we'll always give you on the problem that you have to solve on your cartridge or your printer or anywhere. But very soon we are going to teach you about how to do a color cartridge or But we already done, done a video on that one. But right soon we are going to show you all that one. Thank you very much and please have a wonderful day. Yeah, bye.